Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle and I teach 4K, which is the same as preschool in Wisconsin. I am going to share with you some literacy activities today that you can do in large group, small group, or just set out during your choice time. So let's get started. I'm noticing in my background all of this and all of this. I've been recording um, seesaw activities for my virtual kids, so I've got all kinds of you know activities that I'm sharing with them. And then this is just well, this is next week's activities for in person. So let me share with you some activities. Okay, a pocket chart. I feel like these are like 500 years old, but. So much can be taught from a poem or song that's in a pocket chart. So I will sing this several times while the kids help me sing it. And then I let the kids take turns. So they grab our pointer and they will point to the words as the rest of the class is singing. So what are they learning from this? They're learning that you read from left to right, that there is a separation between words this one is Hickory Dickory Dock. So they're also learning rhyming, rhyming words because the clock struck four. The mouse said, do more, Hickory Dickory Dock. And then all of these can be switched out. So I have it so that the, um, the person who's pointing can pick whichever one they want and making sure that they, they match. And a really great way to do this too is that if you um, have the kids make up a different one. So yes, it says do more, but can they think of something else that's kind of silly or fun that isn't already there? And then they can sing that one as well. So I wanted to say that we have set pictures that go with our letters. And we also have actions that go with each of the letters. So we keep these same pictures up here on our whiteboard. We have them at our writing center. They are all over the place. So that anywhere the kids see the letters, they can re be reminded of what sound it makes. So like, um, I'm looking, I'm trying to hold this and D. So D says D, D, D. So they're hearing it. They're seeing it, and they're also doing the action. So um, keeping the same pictures for everything is really helpful for kids too. So I just figured out that my tripod actually goes a little higher. I have to crouch a little bit so you can see all of me, but that's okay. We use these letters that are on the whiteboard for when we're talking about the, um, the helper of the day and the kids need help remembering what sound the letter makes or what it looks like. So these are always up here for reference and um, I'll actually link down below the, the video I share um, how we practice these letters and are with our helper of the day. Hanging at every center, we have these little mini clipboards with paper in them. We used to have notepads, I think, but this is just copy paper cut in half and a little pencil tied to it. So this is at the block center, so they can be making notes. These can be used for um, taking orders with, um, if you have a little restaurant, it could be for writing your observations at the discovery center. Uh, it could be for anything. So these are throughout the classroom to promote them and encourage them to be writing. At the beginning of the school year, when the kids are sitting down for snack, we put down their first name so they can find their spot. So they're reading their name and recognizing their name. Then we might often flip the, their card over so they're looking for their last name. We might give them a magnetic letter and they, let me say that again. On the table, there's a letter. They're given one after they wash their hands and they have to go find that same letter. So if they get a lower, a uppercase A, they have to go find the exact same letter, uppercase A. We also do it so that they have lowercase letters around the table and they're given an uppercase and they have to go find the match. So that's how they find their spots. Right now we're doing um, rhyming ones. So these are on the table. 
one for every spot is on the table. And then they're given after they wash their hands, another one. So they have to go to each place and they say um, like tree star, does it rhyme? No. Chair star, no. Car star, yes. And that's where they sit once they find their rhyming match. So I made these little guys by cutting open, cutting a slit in a tennis ball and adding some fabric paint to make the eyes. And I put this out with a tray with these banana, banana grams? I think they're called banana gram letters. And the kids feed this guy letters. So I will sit with the kids and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna feed him letter F and pop it in his mouth. It's actually also really good like hand strengthening because it's kind of hard to squeeze it. So um, something fun to put out and just play with. Also, this um, is great during the fall study to put out. It's good at any time, but then it also lets you look inside and see what it's made of. So it's even, you have even more to discuss while you're playing with it. So I have these little flies and I'm sure this was, these were, I made these so long ago and I'm sure I could find one where I didn't have to actually color in all these bits now. Um, I could print it out already colored, but I put these out on the table. These ones are actually rhyming, but they do come off and you can switch them up to be, have something else on them. So you can put letters on them. And then what you do is you grab a fly swatter and you have these all over the table or the floor and you say a word or say a letter, whatever. And the kids have to quick whack the one that matches. So if you say bone, they have to find the cone because it rhymes with bone. If you have letters out, you can say, you know, find the letter A and then they can smack the letter A. Or you can do it by saying, find the the letter that says S -s -s -s. So they have to know the sound and they also have to recognize the letter S. So from the dollar store, these are from the dollar store. And these are just super easy to print off and make on your own. I wanna tell you too that I laminate them and then, I mean, this one is stuck on with a little glued up that can be popped off, but I use a Sharpie to write on them because then when the kids play with it, it doesn't come off. Um, but if you use a magic eraser, it just rubs right off. Um, they are laminated, you have to, I have to say that. They're first, you laminate them, then you write on it with Sharpie and then you just erase it with a magic eraser and you can change them up, numbers, you could put whatever you want on here. During this summer, I love to make a bunch of, I don't know, I like to be crafty and creative. And one summer I found, I had all these rocks that I got from our cottage, um, which is in Southern Ontario. And I shouldn't say our cottage, I should say my mom and dad's cottage, but it's kind of like our cottage because we go there a lot. But I painted lowercase letters on each of the um, rocks. And then I just put these in a sensory bin, like if we, if we have um, sand in there, or you know, there's some dump trucks and stuff like that. I put these in there and then, I mean, yeah, they're rocks and they're playing with them, but they're also, you can talk about them while they're playing with them. So take ordinary objects or materials that you have and just add letters to them because then it's just something that you can notice and talk about while they're playing. I have these kidney beans I think they're kidney beans that I spray painted gold. And on one side is the um, lowercase and the other side is the uppercase. And we hide these also in um, the sensory bin with rice. And then beside it, we put the um, ice cube trays. Pretty sure these are from the dollar store. And then as they find them, they pop them in here until they fill all of the holes. And we give them tweezers to find them. So they're picking them up using their fine motor and then doing some matching of the letters. Super easy activity. Don't be afraid to put out store-bought games. Not everything has to be, you know, homemade or handmade or whatever. Um, bought this, I don't remember where I bought this. I know I bought, didn't buy it new, but it's sequence letters. And um, the original sequence for kids is that also really fun, but this one is letters, so they have to match the letter with a picture so they have to know the letter sound so you would match the letter r with a rabbit um so that's fun i mean it takes a minute to teach the kids how to play it but then they have a lot of fun with it we do have a separate um writing center and 
I wanted to share with you a couple things that we have in here right now. We are doing the insect study. So we have these little books I made that just, they're super simple, copied them. It says, I see one insect, and then it says two and then three. And then there's some pages that say, I see, and then they, there's a blank one. And then there's a couple of pages that have nothing on it in case they want to write their own words on it. So um, encourages them to be reading on their own um, and then also illustrating their books. So that's a simple one. There's, we usually have something posted here for the kids to look at. So right now we have three different ways to draw a simple insect. So there's the, the butterfly, it has the word. So they're reading the word butterfly and they're seeing the steps of the butterfly. Then we have papers and books in case they wanna make a whole insect book. This year we have the sweetest, kindest kids I've ever had. They genuinely care about each other. And one of the things they love to do is they love to write letters to each other. And usually I don't keep that, the letters in the letter, um, our mailbox out all year, but, and I kind of put it away and bring it out again, but they love it. So we have envelopes at our writing center. We have little papers and there's no, nothing on them already. They're just blank and um, markers, colored pencils. And then we added these little stamps and then there's also a glue stick here so they can once they um, seal their envelope they could put a little stamp on it they could color this if they want to but um, just little stamps on it and then we also have the, um, the name cards of the kids that have the first name and the last name on them and we've been kind of encouraging them to when they sign their name on their letters to write their first name and their last name and also showing them how to write the first and last name of their friend who they're um, sending this to so they love writing letters and I'll show you my mailbox that I made that they're having a lot of fun with. Here is our mailbox. I took a box. Actually, it's two boxes, priority mailboxes um, that I taped together. So two free boxes. I cut the hole out and I covered it with blue cardstock, taped every possible corner. And then in the back, I just cut a little flap so that when they put their letters in, oh, it goes in here. And then at the end of the day, we can open it up and deliver all the mail. So they love this. And this is always out now. Also at our writing center right now, we have these um, stickers, these alphabet stickers. Um, we have had alphabet stamps with um, little ink pads as well. We don't have those out right now. We actually have little, um, insect stamps in case they want to add those to the books they're writing about insects but just having those for them to look at to add to their letters or their books or whatever they're making. I think I'm gonna stop there not because I'm out of ideas but because I have a grocery pickup in like 18 minutes and I still need to clean up my stuff so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do some more because there's so many more ideas. I could have so many more for um, numeracy and literacy. Uh, thanks for watching and have a happy day.